Hello guys, it is February, so it is time for February sewing plans. Okay, so what do we have? I'm just going to jump straight into it. By the way, my name is Hila and this is my channel, Saturday Night Stage, where I post about things to do with sewing, sewing productivity, happy development, sewing magazines, sewing machines, sewing patterns, everything to do with sewing. So if you like that sort of stuff, remember to hit the subscribe button. Right, so where were we? Sewing plans. Ah, yes, sewing plans. So uh, for this month, I plan on using up this uh, wonderful sweater knit fabric that I picked up from Fabworks in 2018, actually, yeah, in 2018. So it's got a very beautiful 80s vibe to it. And I'm going to be sewing up my Coles M7486 for my son. Because we are big fans of Will Smith here. We love, 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 love Will Smith. And, you know, we've taken blood oaths to watch every single Will Smith movie there is out there. Which is why I was very excited because we're going to watch Bad Boys for Life pretty soon. But anyway, I digress. So, my son is also into Will Smith. And we love the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And this has got such Fresh Prince of Bel-Air vibes to it. So, we're just going to be making... Um, the top, the sweater knit top view C. I have made this pattern three times already, and he loves one of the jumpers. He wears them all, he wears it all the time. And so when I showed him, I was just like, I just want to double check that you'd be okay with this fabric being made into that. He was like, yeah, sure. So he's very excited about that. So this is going to be happening um, for my son, for my eldest son. That's going to be wonderful. Right, and then the other thing that's going to be happening is a refashion. My girls had a birthday recently, well, not recently, a couple of months ago, and we got them these H&M dresses, the sequined dresses, because they were lovely and all that. But the problem is their hair keeps on getting stuck in the sequins, so they, could, they couldn't actually wear them beyond their birthdays. So what's going to happen is the top is going to get cut off, and we're going to replace that with like, I'm just going to do a jersey, you know, like a jersey fabric um, top because they do love the sequins and it's a bit of a waste really. So that's going to be a refashion uh, project that I have to get done because the girls still love the sequins, but they don't like it when it dries on their hair, which is kind of nice to know because I think if I ever made any dresses for them, at least now I know that it's not practical to have sequins because um, they will catch into it, especially these ones that are quite spaced out as well. It's not so bad if the sequins are very close, then there is a space for the hair to get trapped, but these ones, just a nightmare. So, refashion. Okay, and then the other thing that we're going to be making is some jumpers for my girls in these really cute, fleecy, fluffy uh, fabric, which I bought from fabrics for all in 2018 so one is going to get the mint and one is going to get the uh, sort of like a light coral but it's very very cuddly and i asked them if they wanted cardigans from it or jumpers and they said that they wanted jumpers hooded jumpers with pockets so i'm going to make it into that so the next thing i'm going to make is the wrap dress uh from birda 20 I think it's better 2015 or 2016. I don't know. I'll put it down here. Um, but um, this is a Lady McElroy viscose jersey. Beautiful quality. So soft against the skin. I'm a big fan of the viscose jerseys because they feel so soft um, against the skin. And they wash really well. Because I have said this and I'll say it again, I am a low maintenance kind of person. For the most part, I don't want to make garments that require a lot of time and effort into caring for them. So I like this because jersey because I can just chuck it in the tumble dryer and it comes out really <laughs> like ready to wear. Um, so yeah, so I quite like this because it's kind of like got an abstract house tooth pattern to it. Separately, I think I'm on a hound's tooth kick because last month I made something with a giant hound's tooth. But these are really beautiful colors. It's got purple, aubergine, and cream, and it sort of gets darker at certain points and then lighter. Really, really beautiful. Excited to make this into a wrap dress. Um, I have to decide whether I'm going to make the wrap dress maxi or midi length, but I think that this is going to be 
something else. And then up next is I'm going to make another um, Grain Line Studio Archer shirt. But except for this time, instead of doing the bum ruffle version, which I made before, I'm going to do just the straight down version. And the reason why it's not going to have a party in the back is because the fabric itself is the party. <laughs> I cannot look at this fabric without feeling deliriously, giddily happy. This fabric makes me so giddy. Look at that. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you might recognize this as a similar print to a jersey dress that I made last year in June. So this is the Art Gallery uh, Fabrics Ice Cream print, and they have this on different substrates. So this is the cotton poplin one. But look at that. Look at the ice cream with the sprinkles. Oh, you know, I may be keto, but whenever I go to Italy, I still will have gelato because, you know, life is too short to not eat gelato. But, oh, look at this. I am so loving this. This was one of those rare instances where the fabric, when you receive it, it far exceeds what your expectations were and this actual um, ice cream print is larger than the one on the jersey so on the jersey it's like a smaller one but this one's like giant ice cream and so i'm thinking um an archer shirt a button down shirt but it's like ice cream oh shirt dress maybe i could make it into a shirt dress oh i don't know what would you make with this fabric if you were you, let me know in the comments box down below because I've just suddenly realized that maybe I've limited myself by saying the Archer um, shirt dress. But yeah, you need to let me know soon because I plan on making this this month. So let me know before I cut into it what this, what you would make this with. I'm open to exploring something new with this as well because, ooh, I think it would make a nice shirt dress. Mm. Anyway, I really, really love this dress. It just makes me, uh, no, not dress. I haven't yet made it into a dress. Come on. <laughs> but I love this fabric so much. I cannot, cannot wait to see what this is going to become. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, and then the next one is a project that was inspired from uh, Frock Tales hosted by Laura Casey. It's so different, actually. So one of the things that I did as a judge was to go around and look at the different um, you know, garments that had been made. And one of the winning garments was a flounce dress, and she had done contrasting fabrics. One of them was a solid, and then the other one was like this beautiful popping uh, the flower print but I was just really struck by that and I was just like you know I pinned it in my brain because it was very inspiring and so in the back of my mind I've been sort of looking for a project where I can do something similar and I did find some really nice eye-catching art gallery fabric so we have this one here right <laughs> And we also have this one here. Okay, and then there's the two of them next to each other. And I thought that these could work well, well to make the flounce dress. So, so different flounce dress. So I'm thinking, I haven't yet exactly decided. So I'm thinking, um, the main bit, this one, will be that one. And then the flouncy bit will be this one. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but in a way, I just think, I just think it's going to be fabulous. Um, you know, so one of the things that I want to do this year is I want to do a lot more, um, you know, pattern mixing, doing things that... Um, you know, are a lot more crazier, I guess, <laughs> than what I've already been doing. Um, but yeah, I do like, I do, I do like how these sort of go together. Oh, look at that. Maybe I should just do some draping with this because I'm already seeing something that could work here. <laughs> so I think that this is going to be fabulous. So these... Did I leave anything up? Nope, I didn't. So these are my sewing plans for February, guys. Not as much as for January because, well, February is only 28 days long. So 
I don't have that much sewing time in February. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this video, that you were entertained. And if you did, do give it a big thumbs up down below. If you haven't already, do subscribe for new sewing related videos every single week. And until I see you next time, guys, happy sewing. Bye. Separately, I'm wearing my Vogue V1486 skirt with a striped.